<laughs> thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. Cease and desist, oh, do go on. One day, many years ago, as I sat in my dressing room preparing to be launched into outer space and pondering the repercussions of an honorable suicide, the door to my trailer flew open and a spirit materialized before me. As I gazed at this apparition, all thoughts of suicide were immediately dispelled, for this was a spirit of astounding corporeal beauty. <laughs> Who are you, I asked, bewildered and admittedly more than a little bewitched. The spirit considered me for a moment and then, breaking into a dazzling smile and moving forward to clasp my hand in his, said, my name is Kevin Brockman. <laughs> Public relations for UPN, and I am here to make your life better. <laughs> Even a man of Kevin's prescience could not have foreseen that that moment, in that dressing room, on that most harrowing of all mornings, was the beginning of an extraordinary friendship. It didn't take long for both of us to realize that a professional relationship was out of line, out of order, and out of the question. I wanted Kevin Brockman for myself. <laughs> for here was a man the likes of which I'd never met before. Charismatic, gracious, charming, naughty, <laughs> and very, very smart. But I sensed a different pulse, a deeper current. And in the 22 years I've known him, many secrets have been revealed to me. And now, in an open act of betrayal, <laughs> I am going to share them with you. <laughs> it is curious and wonderful that such a beautiful man should be so kind. But that is Kevin's biggest secret and his biggest secret weapon. His impulse is always to give, never to take. But when he does take, he takes with abandon and responds to the giver with his own gift of joy. Life is an exquisite adventure to Kevin, and from this perspective, he can only ever be his best and most authentic self. So you can imagine what this friendship of ours has been like. It is original, it is vital, and it is rare. These very qualities could be used to describe the Glisten ideology as well, but an ideology is only as effective as its greatest champion, and Glisten found that champion in Kevin Brockman. He began working with Glisten in the 90s and has been indefatigable in establishing a presence for Glisten on the West Coast and in the entertainment industry. None of us would be in this room together tonight without Kevin, and there would be no Glisten Respect Awards in Los Angeles without Kevin. His sense of justice is surpassed only by his incomparable decency. It is an honor, a privilege, and a delight to present my great friend Kevin Brockman with the Glisten Hero Award. Honored guests, please join me in thanking the one and the only Kevin Brockman. In my line of work, I know you do not linger, uh, make people wait when they're between you, them, and their dinner, so I will um, make this short. Um, I have nothing prepared because I did not know this was going to happen. <laughs> Sorry. Um, uh, thank you, Eliza. Um, thank you, Kate. I adore you. You know that. I adore you, too, but it's in a different way. Um, it is, it is not fair to say that this, we would not be in this room without me. That's ridiculous. Um, all I did was answer a call from a friend who told me about an organization that he had found uh, through another friend of his um, named called Glisten that was about ending bullying in schools. And it's kind of a pure message. No child should feel afraid to go to school. And it resonated with me because when I was in school, I was afraid. And I hid. And I tried to get through. I did a damn good job, actually. Um, but I was lucky. And a lot of kids aren't as lucky. So I was drawn to Glisten for that simple reason. 
and it is something that I've carried with me for 23 years now, I think. 23 years ago, uh, my husband and I, Dan Berenson, were defrosting shrimp in our shower to throw the first Glisten Awards where we were cooking the food in a friend's backyard. Um, yes, we've come a long way. Not that I'm sure all of you wouldn't really want to be eating def defrosted shrimp from our shower right now. Um, so I have, I have worked hard. I have browbeat a lot of my friends and a lot of people in this room relentlessly for money. So in that regard, I guess I did play a part. Um, and I have always been amazed at the true heroes of GLSEN, which are the students. I don't know. Yes. To give me a hero award is kind of silly when you have kids who um, refuse to hide in their schools, who refuse to pass through and not make a difference. They're the real heroes. We're all just here to support them and to give them what we can. So I will implore you all, even though I'm not supposed to do this during my, but I will, I will do what I've always done. I will implore you to give because the reason we're all here even if you're not, if you're here only because you were invited by someone. The reason we're all here is to help them. Help these kids make it better. Help them in their fight. That's what tonight is all about. That's what all of my years with this organization have been about. Helping those kids. So thank you. I will thank you all for indulging me in this moment.